Hmm. All right. We're still looking into the concept of worship, according to you know Islam and all. Damn, hornets are horrible, man. All right. Salah is the first principle manifestation of faith and also the foremost of the basic conditions for the success of the believer believers uh, successful indeed are the believers those who humble themselves in their prayers that's uh, 23 1 and 2 the prophet PBUH further emphasized those who offer their salah with great care and punctuality will find it a light, a proof of their faith. Got to prove that shit, man. And cause for their salvation on the day of judgment. After Salah, Zakah, obligatory annual charity, is another important pillar of Islam. In the Quran, Salah and Zakah have mostly been mentioned together. Like Salah, Zakah is a manifestation of faith that affirms that God is the sole owner of everything in the universe. And what men hold is a trust in their hand that God expects them to discharge. Yeah, wonderful, wonderful faith. In this respect, Zaka, uh, is an act of devotion that, like prayer, the law brings a believer nearer to his Lord. Apart from this, Saka is a means of distribution rest of wealth in a way that reduces differences between classes and groups. Kind of shades of uh, the early parts of the book of Acts, you know, Acts of the Apostles. You know, very socialismist, <laughs> very communistic kind of sounding shit. They had a different name, name for it, I think, then. You know, Ibanism, Ibanism or something like that. But it makes a fair contribution to social stability by purging the soul of the rich from selfishness and the soul of the poor from envy and resentment against society. It closes down the channels leading to class hatred and makes it possible for the springs of brotherhood and solidarity to gush forth. Such stability is not merely based on the personal feelings of the rich. It stands on a firmly established right. So, uh, Siam, fasting during the day of the month of Ramadan, is another pillar of Islam. The main function of fasting is to make a Muslim poor from within. By such purity, one promotes what is good and shuns what is evil. The glorious Quran confirms, O oh, ye who believe, fasting is prescribed to you as it were Prescribe to those before you that ye may learn 
self-restraint. That's Surah 2, verse 183. Yeah, you know, I used to know the uh, Holy River family, Pentecostals, and uh, the dad. You know, I mean, this close to the stake handler, you know. Yeah, went to their church one time and it would freak me out. <laughs> but yeah, he goes fasting. You know, and it, I mean, it's like all this stuff is just the same thing you find in Christianity, you know? Just not everybody does the thing. They don't, they're not as mandatory about everything. Maybe that's a mistake of Christianity, huh? <sighs> By such purity, one promotes what is good and shuns what is evil. The glorious Quran confirms, O oh, ye who believe, fasting is prescribed to you as it was prescribed to those before you, that ye may learn self-restraint. Read that already. Let's see. Anyway, it's Surah 283. Uh, in an authoritative tradition, the prophet PBUH reported Allah as saying, and no doubt Gabe was in the middle, right? I mean, it was always Gabriel, right, telling him? Or did he talk directly to God? He probably did that. Why not? <sighs> he suspends eating, drinking, and gratification of his sexual passion for my sake. Thus, his reward is going to be according to God's great bounty. Fasting awakens one's conscience and reminds an individual of the suffering of the less fortunate and thus promotes a sense of sympathy and kindness to them. Yeah, it might. Or some might, people might get smug about it, you know? I mean, you know, people always fuck shit up, even good intentions like this. They'll find a way to reinterpret this and make it shitty. You know what I mean? See it. <sighs> but, you know, at least force people to fake it. It's almost as good as it being in their nature to just do. Because, you know, empathy and all. Lastly, we come to al Hajjah, pilgrimage to the house of God in Mecca. God has a house. Oh, it's in Mecca, too. This very important pillar of Islam manifests a unique unity. Dispelling all kinds of differences, does it really? Muslims from all corners of the world wearing the same dress respond to the call of Hajjah, Hajjah, Hajjah in one voice and language. The Baik, Allah, Haman, the Baik, here I am at your service, O Lord. It sounds so pretty the other way. I just don't know how to say it. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> During Hajj, there is a strict exercise of self discipline where not only sacred things are revered, but even the lives of plants and birds are made inviolable. Inviolable. Uh, so that everything lives in safety. 
Whoever honors the sacred rites of Allah, for him it is good in the sight of the Lord. That's Surah 22, 30, at least part of it. Uh, pilgrimage gives an opportunity to all Muslims from all groups, classes, organizations, and governments from all over the Muslim world to meet annually in a great congress. The time and venue of this congress has been set by their one God. This congress has been set by... Oh, wait. Um, Invitation to attend is open to every Muslim. No one has the power to bar anyone. Every Muslim who attends is guaranteed full safety and freedom as long as he himself does not violate its safety. The concept of worship in Islam encompasses every aspect of human life and is central to the goal of feeling the individual as well as society. Oh, freeing, excuse me. <laughs> the goal of freeing the individual as well as society from the worship of created things. I have a couple of things to say about that, but yeah. I think, uh, yeah, whatever. <sighs> to the worship of the creator of all things. But who created, created him? I mean, everything has to have a creator. And then that creator has to have a creator. Uh, whew, infinite regress. It is the concept of worship that humanity needs so desperately, and wherein lies the key to our collective salvation. And then there's all this information. I'll just try to include it below. Anyway, that, that was uh, this one. And I'll roll the dice later. Uh, or maybe I'll get a, a suggestion. All right. Let me know if you learned anything. If this changed your life. You know, you're welcome if it did. I did that, I guess. I, 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 I like to be helpful. Anyway, I have a couple more to do, I think. And then who knows? Who knows? Lots of things I could read or react to, maybe. I don't know. Just getting back into it, so we'll see.